Timmins, James Bay. Well, let's talk about tax fairness. Under this government, the CRA is coming hard after single moms, suspending their child tax benefits, forcing them to jump through hoops. But when KPMG was found to be running an international tax fraud whoa, scheme, whoa, whoa, the uber-rich got immediate amnesty. The Prime Minister yep. went further. He appointed a top KPMG rep as the treasurer of the Liberal Party. No. Doesn't the Prime Minister understand the basic principle of conflict of interest? Why is he putting the interest of the big Liberal money machine ahead of ordinary Canadians who play by the rules, pay their fair share, and listen and work hard? Honourable Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, we put more than a billion dollars towards the CRA to go after tax avoidance and tax evasion because we know that it's important for everyone to pay their fair share. That's exactly what we're committed to. But more than that, we're actually committed to making our tax system fairer. That's why one of the first things we did was lower taxes on the middle class and raise them the wealthiest 1 percent, and further uh, continue to look at ways to help single mothers, to help low-income families with the Canada Child Benefit uh, that helps nine out of ten Can Canadian families and is re reducing child poverty by 40 percent. Honourable member for Timmins, James Bay. Really? <laughs> uh, fairness. Okay. So when the Liberals' top fundraiser, Stephen Brofman, gets named in the Paradise Papers, the Prime Minister jumps in immediately and says, hey, no investigation yeah, no needed here. Why? Because he raised $250,000 for the party in two hours? Because it's a case of who you know in the PMO? I mean, ordinary Canadians don't get the royal treatment. Just look at how the Prime Minister treated veteran Brock Blasek, who lost his leg in Afghanistan and is fighting for a pension. If only the Prime Minister treated veterans with the same level of deference that he does for his billionaire crony pals, wouldn't we be a better country? <laughs> lifetime pension commitment, which includes benefits and generous, generous programs designed to help veterans live a full and productive life. This is in stark contrast to the previous Conservative government that for 10 years cut veterans' offices, cut frontline services, nickel and dime veterans while wrapping themselves in the flag. Indeed, even the member for Barry Innisfil said, the previous Conservative government had lost and had become disconnected with the veterans, lost a lot of the trust. It's a very fair criticism. Well, we're not just going to criticize that government. We're going to do better than they did. 